Hey everybody, welcome back to American Beef Ranch. Today I want to talk about nitrogen. And we're in a cornfield to do that. So let's talk about it. So first off, it's pretty simple. What you need to know is that I want to talk about nitrogen because it's this huge nutrient that we always talked about, the big N, right? We always talk about N, P, and K. We need those nutrients. They're super important. Well, guess what? I'm going to tell you that nitrogen is not even the top five in the top five nutrients that your plant needs. But we are really bad at using the nitrogen that is available to us. So in a perfect world, in a perfect system, the way the nitrogen cycle works is nitrogen through high pressure systems is forced into the ground. That once it's forced into the ground, it needs to go to through bacteria and biology to be able to be taken up by the plant. So bacteria takes in that nitrogen, they secrete ammonium, nitrate, and nitrite, those different it, and it may go through several bacteria to do that. Anyway, those three nitrogens are available to plants. So then those bacteria bring, them to, bring that nitrogen to the plants. The nitrogen uptakes that, or the plant uptakes that nitrogen and uses it. And in exchange for that, it takes sugar and gives it to the biology in the ground saying, hey, thank you for your work. We appreciate it. Here's some carbohydrates and some sugar because who doesn't love carbohydrates and sugar, right? Bacteria likes that they keep working so they're always in this continual system building the soil keeping the soil healthy well the problem is that nobody almost pretty much anybody has that system in their farm fields including myself almost nobody our soil is way far off first off for biology to survive and second off for nitrogen to even get into the ground because most of our soil is so freaking hard and compacted that nitrogen can't even get into the soil for the biology to break down and make available plants. So when you come into the 1940s and you have chemical nitrogen, what chemical nitrogen does is allows you to put nitrogen that's readily available because it's already in a readily available form and have an abundance of it and put that in the ground. Well, when you put that nitrogen in the ground, it goes to the plant roots, the plant can uptake it. But because it's readily available, the plant doesn't secrete sugar or carbohydrates into the ground for the biology to survive, so there's another knock. On top of that, a big problem with chemical nitrogen and why we really should be moving back toward that biological nitrogen is number one, our atmosphere is 78% nitrogen and we can't use any of it because our soil can't. Number two, uh, chemical nitrogen is wholly and completely inefficient, <laughs> okay? <laughs> like, the efficiency of chemical nitrogen is absolutely ridiculous. It is so bad. If if you water it too much, it'll run off. And, some, and that's usually what happens. A lot of that nitrogen gets put into the ground, and then we water it, or it rains so much that it washes out. It goes into the Mississippi River, ends up in the Gulf of Mexico, and then you have a dead zone the size of Delaware or Rhode Island or whatever they say. Anyway... There is a lot, and I apologize for my voice being so rusty. I've been under the weather and it is smokier than all get out. So anyway, nitrogen, river, ocean, bad, right? Creates dead zones, we don't like that. The second time it can volatile, volatilize, so that means that it gasses off and leaks into the air. So a way to get around this is use organic nitrogen. Now the problem with organic nitrogen is not available. You have to have the things to break that down. You have to have that biology. I just wanted to add one thing to my rant. I do use biological nitrogen that it has the systems built in place. That's available in our fertilizer. If you want to know more about that, definitely contact us through the website and check out how you can completely get away from chemical nitrogen and totally go to a system that's going to help build your soil and make your soil health better. Anyway, back to the video. So you have to have these certain chains put in place, but Chemical nitrogen also, as soon as you put it out there, you basically nuke any good back, any good biology in the ground because they don't have to work. They don't have to do anything and they can't get paid for work. So the plants just end up, you know, giving, taking away that cheap nitrogen. And in the long run, what ends up happening is we have less nutrient dense food. We have less efficient systems. Like I said, chemical nitrogen, super inefficient and on top of that, we're, we're not using the air, right? So it comes into a cost. Once you get your soil to a certain place, nitrogen is free and you never have to worry about it again. And honestly, once you get to that point, it's definitely not in the top five nutrients of what, you, what that is. And if you wanna know what the top five nutrients are or any of the other crazy things I wanna talk about, make sure you come back next time and check out the next video.